Hello guys, welcome back to the channel and today in this video, I'll show you how to install Flutter in Windows 11. So I have created a list steps to follow to install the Flutter in Windows 11. And uh, we also have Flutter's official website. So I created this list from the official website, but some of the steps are missing. So I figure out those steps and made a list so we can follow. So, so let's get started. So first of all, we have to download Flutter SDK from Flutter. So yeah, we can get the stable SDK for Flutter here. So click on this and it will start download. So I have already downloaded the file, so I will close it, but you download the file. After downloading the file, extract the SDK. So our first step is completed. So now extract and paste the SDK at C S R C Flutter. So we have this file Flutter. So copy this file. Go inside the C folder. Create a new folder S R C. And inside that, paste the Flutter SDK. Till this work is completed, we will move on to the next steps. So edit environmental user variable path and add Flutter bin to the user variable. So first we have to edit the user environmental variable. So go inside the path variable and we have to paste the flutter path here. So let's see, is it completed? So it's yet to complete. We will wait for some time and, and we will paste the path inside the environmental variable, user environmental variable. So the Flutter is available at C location. So go inside the bin folder, copy the path and add it to the environmental variable. So click new, paste the path. That's it. Okay. And okay. So this task is completed. Now download and install Java JDK. So Java JDK 11 is the most used, I think. So yeah, so we can download this uh, Java JDK 11 version. So click on this link and select it and download Java JDK. Click on sign in. So I have already have the file downloaded. So here is the Java JDK. So to install Java JDK after downloading the file, click double click on it. If any prompt comes, then click on yes. Next, next, that's it. The Java JDK has is completely installed and then close that's it so that was the step so we have downloaded and installed the java jdk 11 now we have to run the flutter doctor in console terminal to check the dependencies so yeah we have installed the flutter but we haven't checked it so for that we can type flutter doctor and it will tell us uh, the remaining dependencies. So we have some issues in three categories. So first one is the Android tool chain. The second one is visual studio. So this is for windows application. So we don't need this one and the Android studio again. So yeah, it says that Android studio, we need this. Okay. So you can close it. Then 
check the dependencies i have did that now download and install android studio so go to the android studio page download android studio so yeah, i will again close this because i have already downloaded the file this here is the file so double click on android studio to install it click on yes if prompt comes up then click next select this android virtual device and android studio next and then install it's completed though so start the android studio now don't send no sdk found so now we have to install the sdk at this location accept it and click on finish so it will download the sdk although we have to download it again don't skip this step so android studio setup wizard is completed click on finish and you will come to this screen so download and install android studio so now download and install sdk command line tools and sdk build tools for that click on this more action go to sdk manager click on sdk tools and you can find this android sdk command line tool so this is also required click on apply click on ok wait for it to download and install after it is, after it is completed click on finish apply okay so command line tools is also installed now create a new virtual device and start the virtual device okay so yeah for that go to virtual device create a new virtual device so i'll use this one next so these are the system image so I, i'll recommend use s android s so accept it next so it will start download and install after it is done so the sdk installation is completed so click on finish now we have the system image click on next this will be the virtual device name the settings are good click on finish now you can see the device you can start the device using this icon so click on it so wait for some time to boot it up uh, till then we will move forward so created a new virtual device from avd manager so this is completed now copy contents from jbr okay so this is the step which is missing actually so i will show you why so we have completely installed the android studio but if we do flutter doctor then so if we do the flutter doctor then we are still getting this some issue unable to find bundled java version we have also installed the java jdk so what is this so yeah this is some easy task this is not to be worry about so we have to fix this android studio something so, so for that i have a solution go inside the c program files android studio and then here are these two files J, jre file is empty and uh, jbr file has some content so the solution was select all the content and paste it inside the J, jre jre folder do this for our current items and then select yes yeah so now this is completed if you now if you do the flutter doctor yeah so this is fixed now now this is working so even if you are not getting that result you can re restart the terminal run the flutter doctor and uh, it will be solved so yeah it's fixed now now the only remaining thing is android toolchain developed for android devices 
so some android license not accepted so for that run this command so this is to accept the licenses of the sdk so we have something around five sdks five or seven something yeah so for that you just have to press the y button and then enter so wait for it except for all of them and yeah it's completed so everything is completed now so if you run flutter doctor now the installation is fully completed okay here it says one issue so this is visual studio so this is for windows so if you want to develop application for windows then you have to install the visual studio and these are the steps you have to install the c++ workload so those are the steps but uh, we don't need that for android so you can skip this so yeah we have to copy the content accepted all the android license now we have to install the vs code download vs code So yeah, you can you can click on this. It will download. So I already have the file with me. So this is the Visual Studio code. Accept it. Next, next. So yeah, select all of these. Click next and install. So yeah, the device is running now i didn't saw that but yeah it's completely running fine no problem you can also connect your android device and run on the phone smartphone directly it won't be that laggy yeah so it's completed now so visual studio code is launching so you can close it you don't need that now what was the last step install it now we have to create the we have installed the flutter application but now we have to create it before that you can check uh, how the is device recognized inside the flutter so you, if you do the flutter devices it will show you this sdk windows chrome and edge so both of these are for web this is for windows and this is for android so yeah this is recognized you can close this uh, android studio you don't need that and now go inside your uh, project folder so yeah this is the project folder open your terminal and type flutter create my app whatever okay so it says some there is some error we we can see that okay it should be underscore now it's creating the flutter app my app and it's done <laughs> you can close the terminal and you can see that now go inside it and open the visual studio code and here you have the file so yeah for that you can go inside the project and open in terminal there you can do flutter devices and now you can see the sdk so you can start from here so type flutter run yeah so now it's starting till then you can go inside the main dot that file so this is the flutter code to run the application to create the flutter application so yeah wait for some time so the compilation of the flutter code is completed and the application is up and running so yeah you can see this and if you want to edit some the dart code you can edit this so you have you can change it to clicked and as soon as you save it you'll see the changes on the screen 
if you save it and if it doesn't change you can reload the application hot reload and now yeah clicked you have clicked the button this many times so yeah it's still working now so yeah that's how you can install the flutter in windows 11 and in the next video i'll build some basic flutter projects so thanks for watching this video like and share this video and subscribe to the channel and we will meet in the next one thank you